good morning good afternoon good evening everybody however you happen to be watching and or listening to this i want to welcome you to the latest episode of the gaming circle podcast the podcast where we're starting what 18 minutes late this morning but that's because these technical gremlins get in my damn way but you know what i'm not gonna let it hold me back uh those on them youtube streets if you can hear me microphone check please acknowledge because we have had anything and everything go wrong here this morning, but we're going forward. I am, of course, joined this morning by a hopefully well-rested, uh, post-betrothed Mr. Everborn Saga. What is going on, good sir? Good morning. Definitely not well-rested, but all that other stuff is true. Okay, okay, okay. So, yes, yes. Before we get started, I will say it's my fault. Technical gremlins it's it's time we move away from the, the 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 obs software man that thing is just it's just it's a pain in the butt man it's just absolute it was working perfectly until 555 well 55 until minutes until it wasn't until it wasn't exactly you know <laughs> it's like those news stories they they're true until they're not you know it is what it is what are you going to do but okay we are here we are here and i guess we're going to start this day off as we always do here on this show with some games that we've been playing everyone i'll ask you first um, uh, what's on your playlist? Anything you've been, you've been getting into? Yeah. So I just finished the amazing, amazing, amazing Prince of Persia. If you have not played this, what are you doing? You need to go play it. I played it on the steam deck. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I was not smart about this, uh, because <laughs> you subscribed for a month and yes, got sir. the game on Xbox and PC for uh, the and small the price of a edition and all one month too. subscription fee. Yeah, yeah. I, because I thought I was going to cross play it, uh, bought it on Xbox. You thought you were and slick. then I bought it on <laughs> the Ubisoft uh, store on PC because I knew it supported cross play. And I thought I was going to play back and forth between Xbox and the Steam Deck, but the, it played so well on the Steam Deck, locked 90 frames a second, just locked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah no issues if it ever dipped it was because of a cut scene and it only mm -hmm. dipped a couple of frames but mm -hmm. like this thing performed perfect um on the steam deck so i ended up playing the whole game there mm -hmm. took me over 40 hours um and i have to say i have not played a 2d platformer that that was this sweaty since the 90s oh yeah like yep. like you want to talk about like uh, obviously Prince of Persia vibes, but like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shinobi kind of stuff where it's just like, there's no rest for the, for the wicked or whatever. Like, yep. um, that's another game, but I, I'm saying like very, very difficult, but in a good way. And every time you died, you know, it's your fault, but you're just like, oh my God, are they really going to throw another thing at me? But they do it. But anyway, uh, boss battles were crazy. They had like, like, straight up dbz vibes in terms mm -hmm. of the the frenetic action so i finished that game love it cannot recommend it enough do not think it was worth it was worth i paid a hundred dollars for it because i bought two of them wow. but uh <laughs> they definitely they definitely probably should have charged 30 or 40 bucks for this mm -hmm. thing and they should have put it on steam because i had to add the non-steam launcher to play it um yeah but that worked fine it was it was not a hassle you just go download non-steam launcher add ub connect and then you're off to the races so i did that played it it was great now mm -hmm. i'm trying to figure out what my next game is and i um what's it called i bought hi-fi rush again on steam because it was on sale for 15 bucks um why don't you wait and buy it on playstation and i know Hell no. <laughs> Hell We're gonna no. We're going to talk about that too, that. by the way. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not supporting that nonsense. But anyway, we'll, oh, we'll talk about we that go. later. But what I did support, also on the Steam Deck, because it's becoming my console of choice, uh -huh. um, Tales of Arise was on sale mm -hmm. as well. I think I paid 15, 20 bucks for that. So instead of getting that on, on Game Pass as well, you bought it on Steam. Well, so the thing is, I already own that, and I bought that day one in 2021 on Game Pass but I never got around to playing it. Um, and because I'm, I'm just like, you know what it is, it's all handheld life these days. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw it on sale, I picked it up, but I also got uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. 
Now, I played both of those for about the first half hour, 45 minutes, hour or whatever. And and uh, the chat can say, you know, give me some recommendations here. I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to play next. Mm -hmm. So I love the whiz bang of the uh, like the moment to moment combat on um, Grand Blue. Like it feels good. Uh, It's like what I wanted Final Fantasy 16 to be. Meaning action, but still a full-fledged RPG. Yep. Whereas Final Fantasy 16, which is another game I really enjoyed, it was um, it was uh, more on the action side than the RPG side. So, um, what's it called? Um, but the story is very isekai, uh, and I know you're not transported to another world, but it is very like. Uh, very kind of it feels too kitty for me okay um and it definitely feels like obviously it is a sequel but it it, fe- it, it i feel like i'm coming in in the middle of a story um if you look at where it starts you'll see that you're on this like uh airship and uh it's like you just finished an adventure so uh but i haven't played any other grand blue fantasies anyway uh but then tales of arise starts and it's much darker um and i like the dialogue i like the tone of everything i like the world that they're setting up the opening cutscenes are very intriguing so i find myself more invested in the characters in the opening of tales of arise than i am in the characters in uh grand blue so i don't know which one is gonna stick but i, I think i'm gonna end up playing one of them uh to completion cool cool you have a, a good list and and of course uh, the, the chat is already already giving you recommendations. Lucius says you should definitely try Tales of Arise. I, I All those recommendations are Tales of Arise. <laughs> I know, I know. I tend to agree with him though. Like I also own a, a copy of Tales. I bought it day one, but I also was playing Scarlet Nexus at the time, and I, I chose Scarlet Nexus over Tales, and I never got back to Tales. And then I heard recently that they that they just put it back in Game Pass. So I, I may re-roll my character. I was so early in, I might just like continue on, uh, continue where I was. But people have a lot of great things to say about it. So so I, I will definitely be be possibly jumping into those waters as well. But okay, so those are the games you have been playing. Are Sarah? you a mm-hmm. go ahead? Are you a JRPG guy? Uh, not necessarily. I'm not a JRPG guy, but I'm a I'm a person who can get lost into a good story. So I have been able to get lost into many JRPG stories. I have played many a Final Fantasy. I've played many a Tales game. Actually, I've actually uh, uh, these days my 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 amuse bouche, if you will, is Sea of Stars because every once in a while I like to just throw some, something in there like like that. So I wouldn't be like. You know, this is me sweaty on the PlayStation uh, PlayStation platform playing all the JRPGs. But uh, if you are good enough, I will play you. Uh, if you go too far in the direction of like uh, cringy dialogue and whatnot, it, it, it loses me. Right. So see, I'm that's not, what I'm I think is my issue it. with uh, yeah. with Grand Blue. Mm-hmm. That's what the sweaty dialogue. Yep. Yep. There you go. No, no, no. Not uh, sweaty the cringy, dialogue. The but cringy like, dialogue. Yeah. It's just yes. like this is too. And listen, I'm a fraud because I'm. I, well, you know what? I'm not. I'm not a fraud. <laughs> uh, dubbed over subbed. Uh-huh. How about that? And I and I'm playing wow. it that way. And I, that listen, might be part guy. of. That, that's that's that gonna bring some some people the to the reason, fight, man. Uh, that's gonna be some so people what? to the fight. <laughs> okay. Long hair, don't care. <laughs> what I said. Understood. All right. So as you guys can see on the screen, uh, oh, and before we even do that, let me, let me first and foremost, you know, thank all the great f- folks that are already in here. Um, there will be maybe some modifications to our show standard because, uh, uh, as you guys know, we were having some 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 technical gremlins. So maybe I may not be able to put put everything on the screen like I used to be able to put it. Uh, I can actually put some of the the chats and stuff on the screen, and I will. Uh, I see the great J Mac in here. And he left a, 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 a member chat, which I can't put on the screen right now because of technical issues. I'm sorry, Jay. But he said, Xbox's di- diabolical plan is in full effect. The third place leader and, and the first place follower, somehow it makes sense. <laughs> Xbox World Order. Yeah, the, that's the question, right? Does it make sense? We're going to talk about that. So I appreciate you for being here. Of course, uh, the aforementioned Lucius is in here. Dekado is in here. Live, Supremacy, all the great folks are in here. Thank you so much for being here. 
hit the like button if you haven't done so already consider subscribing if you're new here uh we have some members uh who, who support us rigorously and we appreciate that think about becoming can we name can we to. name the channel members do maybe we, we want to yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 no we should you know yeah maybe we want to let, let's here. float some float some names around to see and see which one sticks you know yeah, maybe maybe we'll, we'll call us ourselves the Koofies. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying yes. who are the members right now? Can you see that list? Oh, Let's can, give I, them a can I see the list of the, the members? Ah, I yes. understand. Well, that will require me me doing some uh, some poking, and I will do that. Give me a second. All right, we will shout out everybody who is yes. a member who by the member. end of we, this we show. We will do that by the end because of the show. Because we, we appreciate your support. Absolutely. Uh, yes. and, you, and you absolutely should be in that Discord. Indeed, um, yes, yes. And, and, Which, and by if the way, you're not subscribed. It's, it's in the description underneath that like button that you just hit. Hit the Discord invite. Join us. It's always fun in there. Continue, sir. No, no, no. I said um, if you're if you're not in the Discord, mm -hmm. get in the Discord. We have a lot of fun in there. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. We appreciate you here anyway. But um, if so, you're if you're not a channel member, also consider it. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we appreciate all the support. It keeps the cha the show going. It keeps us, uh, you know, we're doing some interesting things in the background and all this stuff will help us push that ball forward. So, Jay Rose with a $10 super chat. Thank you for being here, Jay. Saying, what up, guys? Love the stream. If you guys have one choice, what platform would you guys uh, game on? Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox? He's literally trying to push us our backs to the wall and make us choose. Mr. Everborn Saga, what is your choice? Um, Right now... Desert Island, be, one platform. Which one is it? Well, Desert Island, I'm not going to have a TV, but I could have a handheld. Look, so man, it's, it's, a, it's a ridiculous... Steam Deck, it's baby. A, it's a ridiculous... You, you no, 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 no. You asked the question. Yes. I'm giving you the answer. Where, where right even now. handhelds would need battery outlets, but, you know, this Desert Island has outlets. No, no, <laughs> don't, no, listen, we can figure that out. Right? Exactly. We, we we can do some. We can get some windmills going. We can get um, some windmills going. Yes, we'll use water but, power. <laughs> uh, right now, mm -hmm. it is uh, it is Steam because they're they're giving. Listen, I'm a console troglodyte, right? Mm -hmm. I got a 3080, which is old school now. I'm sorry, but I don't game on PC. I do my last four games. I've been playing on the Steam Deck because that's just where my lifestyle is going these days. And if Xbox ever does give us a handheld along with a UI that is not uh, that hides Windows from me, I'll, you know, I'll be back. But right now, uh, it's all about the Steam Deck. Hashtag and guess Xbox what? OS. <laughs> I, yes, a thousand percent. But guess what? If they do that and they let you sideload stuff from from other stores, I don't care what's exclusive where because I'll have it on my device. Mm -hmm, indeed, indeed. And the man Shout sick is in the house. More. What's going on, brother? Welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, so to answer that question, it is mm -hmm. Steam specifically because of the Steam Deck. Yep. And if they make a Steam OS that I could put under my TV, boy, oh boy. Mm. So I, I, will, I, I will hedge the bet. I will hedge the statement. No, no hedging. PC. We don't want hedging. We I'll need the real PC. thing. I won't say Steam because Steam is a store. PC. No. No, True. No, it's not. It's not an no, ecosystem. It's a. It's no, a delivery no. because Would because you, on that same PC. You, uh huh. Go ahead. Would I? Well, imagine your PC is locked to a single launcher. <laughs> yeah, but well, then I'd be a console troglodyte, which is bullshit. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is what. This is what. I, listen, I didn't make the question. The question gave you specific options, sir. Sure, so sure, you sure. Have to choose. The, the, tr if if honestly, if I had to choose solely between Steam or Xbox, I would pick Steam. Because Steam always has everything. It just is what it is. Steam is, is the default uh, of Windows gaming. And I've always been a Windows gamer. Uh, although I, I play in all those other waters as well. And I, I supplement them back and forth. And I think it's great. If I had to choose, it would also be Steam. So there you go. He's, he's, but thank you. He's hedging. Thank you. Uh, I'm not hedging. But I'm no, not hedging. I, I do want to be clear. Mm -hmm. All I, I'm only asking Xbox for one thing mm -hmm. since they're whoring their games around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just asking oh, for an oh, Xbox God. OS. He's that whoring God. You guys. Are That's just... what they're doing. Uh, give me an Xbox OS. I'll be. I'll be right back. Mm. Uh, we Robo 2024 with a five pound super chat. Thank you so much for being here. Saying with grounded native on Nintendo Switch, do you think it will be native on native on mobile apps once Microsoft Xbox Store is on Android and others and other uh, um, um, 
UI Xbox games be on on uh, a Nintendo Switch and and other other platforms? What do you think? Uh, I mean, you can play um, Genshin Impact, right? Which is a pretty mm-hmm. intense, fully featured game uh-huh, yeah, yeah, on yeah, mobile. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. that's how my fourteen-year-old plays it all the yep, time. I agree. Yeah. Um. So I could absolutely see it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, with and you, I, yeah. I, and again, that is another thing that's making me like, why are you making a certain move when mobile's right there? So, but, but you know. here's the deal, though. I'll do you one better. And, and and the the question was very apt. By you seeing that game on the Switch, it is on mobile because that's a mobile platform. That is literally an Android phone. That's what the Switch is, right? So much so that they revised Switch 1.0 to 1.1 because people were hacking it and putting Android on it. That's what they were doing. That's why I have the OG version that can do that, right? You can literally treat it like an operating system and wipe off the the Nintendo stuff and put full Android on it because it's an Android phone, literally. That's what it is. So if you see these games getting ported there, you know they developed it for mobile platforms. And if it can go, if it can go there, you're damn right it can go on your iPhone. It can go on your, your Galaxy S whatever because those are even more powerful than the Switch that it's running on. So there you go. So Hollywood Rules with a $2 super chat. Good morning, good morning. He says, good morning, fellow Greybeards. Sega! Thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. And I appreciate the, the shout out to the Greybeards. Sir, we are all here to commiserate because today we're going to have some grown man talk. We're going to have some real talk. Uh, Everborn has said that it, it is time after the dust has settled, presumably, because it technically hasn't settled yet. But it's time for us to, to come and weigh in and, 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 and have some frank discussion with our gaming community about where we think Xbox is going forward and what that means for all of us. But before we get there, the game I have been playing. Now, you guys have heard that uh, heard me talking smack about Helldivers 2 because for the first, I don't know, what? five, six attempts, all I saw was the splash screen and the error cannot connect to server, right? But here we are, I finally connected to the server and and what you see on your screen is the result of that. I think this was my first ever playthrough of the game. Uh, well, Helldivers 2 anyway, I played one. And I am happy to report it's exactly what I thought it would be. Uh, Everborn, I don't know if, if this is something that will, will pull you, but honestly, it's one of those mindless, really fun moment to moment, no real story uh, to hell, it. Hell divers? Yeah, yeah, hell divers. That's that's what that's what you're looking does at it, on the screen. Does it does it have an end? It I don't think it has an end. It definitely I don't think so. Okay, I'm checked which is, out. That's which it. is the problem. Uh, yes, stop listening. Yes. There you go. That that is the unfortunate. You know how thing. I roll. Exactly. Exactly. Cuz me too. I I gave it the old college because people were talking so great about it and I actually enjoyed Hell Divers 1, right? And Hell Divers 1 actually had a beginning, middle and end. It had a story. It was a co-op you could you could jump in jump out right so i had to try the new one and say you know it's interesting yeah we'll see we'll see that uh, we'll see uh, uh, how it works but at the end of the day i was like uh, it, it, it ended up i don't know man I, I wasn't i wasn't enthused i wasn't enthused like i enjoy it for what it is and i will possibly continue to play it and go back to it but to your point it just it has no beginning middle or end and the story is paper thin, so the moment to moment is very fun, right? And and you'll see the the the, the you'll see possibly on the screen um, what happened with my uh, with my playthrough where they throw you in a level, they throw you into a mission. Um, there's a there are, there are bugs on some planets and there are terminators on other planets, and you're literally just going to mow them down. Some of the some some missions are go and find the the head commander. Other missions are go and destroy some cache somewhere. And you're just literally just going there and mowing them down. But I don't think, I don't know, but I don't think the world scale to the people. So if you walk in by yourself, you will be swarmed immediately. And, you know, from time from time to time, when others are playing, they'll jump into your world and boom, you're saved right at the clutch moment. It's super interesting. And then you you have a team member who, who's running things with you. It's, it's quite fun. Uh, but again, it's one of those things that you turn your brain off, you know, you, you play for a little while when you got some buddies around. 
But other than that, it's not something that I, I think necessarily will, will keep people super interested, but it's up to them. Maybe they add a story. Maybe they see that since it's, it's, got, it's gotten such a, such a success, maybe they, they add put more meat on the bones there. But in the short term, it's, it's fun for what it is. You know, if you're one of those people that has a team and you, and you roll, roll on, 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 uh, on gas games from time to time, this would be a definite one to try. So JD Gamer in here. Good morning, sir. He's with a two dollar super chat. He does. He does his his uh, his his what is be becoming known as his uh, his uh, his moniker. He says pathetic port begging ponies still got no games. Oh boy, sir, you do realize they might have our games sooner 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 rather than later. We'll see. <laughs> he he finishes that up with another ten dollar super chat. Thank you. He's he's being prolific this morning. He says as a community we must stop falling for the clickbait. FUD spreading mustard heart mu mush mouth Muppets in the, in the media and podcasters that are disingenuous for the sake of supporting their own PlayStation box. Wow. He is on a mission this morning. He get, he got up this morning, drank his coffee, put on his I'm going to start some violent stuff, and he is on that mission. Sir, Everborn Saga, what do you think of, 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 of his, his, uh, his pronouncement this morning? I mean, it is true. Uh huh. Uh, from a first party perspective, that Sony's not getting their own, they're not releasing anything of note until 2025. Yep, that is true. Yep. Right? And that's not from me, that's yep. from the COO. Now, now, we can ask ourselves does that matter if you have things like Stellar Blade and Final Fantasy Rebirth and. Mm -hmm. Some people seem to like to waste their time in Helldivers. <laughs> uh, that's not me coming nice. at Helldivers. That's me nice. coming at service games. Right? Right. And, and, uh, and I, coming I, at me, clearly. Yes, absolutely. He says to me I while I'm playing, showing footage on the damn screen. I, I, I don't waste my time in Halo Infinite. I need to oh, stop waiting for that campaign. Listen to I'll that man right waste his time in Halo Infinite. Well, if Jeez. there's no end to it, it, the only thing there is to just steal your time away. St circle jerk. My yeah, time that's is true. money. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Uh, that's for sure. So, 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 you know, so he is right in that perspective. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. the Xbox community does fall for other people's narratives too much. Falls for and the they let joke. people rile them up <laughs> and they start crying, uh -huh. sometimes justifiably. True, 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 uh, yeah. But, but they do fall for that too much. And as yeah. grown men, because most of these people are grown men, you should Hashtag be setting your own narrative. Indeed. And don't Indeed. don't 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 let anybody tell you what you are or you're not supposed to be upset over. So Mr. I, I, John I, Wolf. I, I think I agree. With a two dollar super chat saying, sharing this morning like Xbox. <laughs> <Enjoy your weekend. laughs> Man, these guys are out here with the violence on. They're doing it. And, and of course, if this keeps going, we're just not going to have the show. We're just going to be a super chat reading show because uh, JD Gamer wants to, keep, wants to keep having this conversation. He says with another $5 super chat, thank you so much for, for so much support. He says every platform, every single platform holder has been a third party publisher, whether it be sending game, their games to PC, mobile, or to rival platforms. They all do it absolutely this is a fact yes it is. and guess absolutely what and guess what to that point mm -hmm. mlb the show no oh, developed by sony yes, no no sir. no no uh -huh. no because everybody wants to no, lose their mind no. ML <laughs> mlb the show developed by sony i don't care whose decision it was because uh -huh, uh -huh. sony could have said we're not going to do it has but more eyeballs happy. on xbox than it right. does on playstation yes six I know. by a yes. factor of six to one that's right right, that's right. yeah destiny Mm -hmm. Also, uh, a, a, a Sony-owned IP. Yep. Everything comes to to Xbox day and day. See, and, and Concord, and, a new a new uh -huh. IP that is gonna come out, right? Mm -hmm. No, sorry, Marathon, not Concord. Marathon. I don't know about Concord. Marathon, yeah. Marathon another Sony-owned IP, yeah. right? And you could say, well, Bungie, this Sony owns Bungie, yeah, and if they, we see that contract, they can come in and step yeah. in at any time. And that's coming to Xbox day and day. So we have three examples of Sony publishing games day and date mm -hmm. on Xbox. But we're all losing our minds because Pentiment is going to the PlayStation.
uh, I, let me let me go out on a limb and say maybe not anytime soon, but the game you see on your screen here will go to Xbox eventually, if well, if it doesn't fizzle out. It's true. <laughs> I was about to say if, because because as you as you guys as you have right now has just made have just made the point for me, right? Uh, most of the gas games, even PlayStation gas games or potential gas games, have more eyeballs on it. They have the numbers on Xbox than it does on their own platform. So if Totoki's talking about we need more revenue and we're going to put more stuff on the other platforms, I don't see why Helldivers 2 doesn't eventually make its way to Xbox because they have data that shows that people on Xbox play these games a lot, right? And it, it makes sense. Now, it doesn't it doesn't mean it will come anytime soon, but I I, I am I am on, on record here, Digital Inc., as saying that eventually you may see that happen. And of course, here's Lucius Augustus with a $2 super chat to completely dissuade you you all of the ridiculous notions that I'm making, saying Helldivers is not coming to Xbox. Stop cap it. Thank you, Lucius. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. Tell Thank you so much. To, there you uh, go. Yes. Uh, Totoki-san. That's right. Tell that to Totoki-san who's looking to make some money and he sees there's money to be made on the rival platform that's currently making them money on Destiny 2, right? And currently making a lot of money in in various other uh, other spaces for them. So, and even MLB The Show, which they reluctantly got into, but now seem to be enjoying a lot of the, the fruits of those labors. So, hey, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, so the first game I was playing is what you're seeing there, Hell Divers 2. Appreciate that. Oh, of course, ha. Gerald Mack is here with a $5 super chat, and he says, Lord Sovereign said it best. Xbox has to put themselves in the position to be a publisher, as well as a console owner. That should be praised and not shunned. Absolutely, absolutely. See, see, I, I honestly think the, 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 the reason why pe some people are worried is the idea of what happens in that world because there have, have not been any single strong third-party publishers and console owners that have been successful historically. So folks are worried about that, right? And every time have, you've seen th well, things go with third party, they've lost some things, a la Sega, right? So people are correctly a little, sh a little gun shy about this whole situation. Me personally, and we'll get further into that. Me personally, I feel like it's an interesting place they're trying to go. I'm looking at them with a side eye to see where they, how far they get. You know, do they realize? Do they realize the vision and get there, or will they have to double back real quick because they see it's going too far? You know, uh, we so, shall well, see. Well, we're, we're burying the lead a little bit. So well, yes, we'll yeah, but, but we'll, get we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it. We will. Let's we will. Run through we'll. these news things. One thing yes. I do want to say in the chat. Yes. Sir. Uh, Scott Gamer dude asked mm -hmm. if we have built our Steam boxes yet. Yes. Um, we have actually K has done something, but he did it on like an older device. Uh, K has recommended me uh, a box that'll fit nicely under the TV. This is um, my Steam box, ladies and gentlemen. It is basically a mini PC with uh, Helio ISO running on it, and literally it is running Steam, and and, and obviously behind it, it's got two HDMI ports. I think I Plug I it think in. we're gonna need a, 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 a video on that, so you we can, might we like, might need to do that. Yes, what, we might need the, to do that. But yeah. uh, you sent me a recommendation. I have to. I did, I'm yeah. gonna look at that one, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm I, I may grab it. But yeah. I see. Here's the thing. I want I want it to out since it's a PC. You want it to I outperform want it to a console. Outperform the consoles, yes. right? Which unfortunately so means like, you're not gonna get subsidized pricing. You're gonna pay almost a thousand bucks. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried. No. So what do you, what do you, what am I gonna have to spend if I want something that is clearly gonna outform the Xbox and PS5? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna pay you're gonna pay a premium for it, but there are there are and and and, and well, in this world, like I said, it's all about the mini PC because you know we're not bringing honking beasts of our PCs into the living room. You want something that's unassuming, something that can just be there, looking like a looking like a, a an a, 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 an Apple. Uh, one of the, the Apple set top boxes, really small, I'm yeah, assuming, now, and give you but, that. But yeah. but here's the other question. Um, I heard Hollow ISO does not play well with with NVIDIA cards. Which is true. Which, this is true. Because remember, Hollow ISO is built off of the bones of Steam Deck, and Steam Deck specifically has NVIDIA, uh, has AMD drivers and not NVIDIA drivers. But here's the thing. Hollow ISO is one of a few options in this realm. 
you can because if if all you if all you care about is it loading up looking exactly like steam deck you can have that in multiple different flavors there's i think chimera os gives you exactly the same thing but that also has a full-fledged android uh, um android a uh, full-fledged linux in background where you can uh, uh, uh install uh nvidia drivers now let's be clear the NVIDIA driver set is not like ready for prime time. It's not like excellent by any any means, but you can make it work. I, I, like I've made it work before. So it's not it's not a thing of it's impossible to have working. But since the the main driver of Hilo ISO right now being Steam is backed by an, uh, by an AMD uh, um, infrastructure, clearly you're going to have better luck on your side if you if you use NVIDIA, uh, if you use AMD infrastructure as well. JD Gamer. Man, this this brother came here today to, to to bless our show, and we appreciate it. And I'm Five here for all of it. He says, "I'm sick of our community falling for the old okie doke <laughs> and the constant red herring nonsense that we we fall prey to. We need to do better." Continued. Yes, I, I understand, sir. I understand. Oh, and of course, geez. John Wolf also here. He says, "Everborn PCMR now, <laughs> Xbox no, losing exclusives." No, turned no. him. <laughs> Hold on, oh, turned him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> like, like I always say, gamers are all frauds and pay pigs. <laughs> wow, he's coming for your knees, sir. Uh, now, 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 I don't doubt that I'm a pay pig, uh, <laughs> but um, at the end of the day. I don't think I'm asking too much for this Xbox OS. Yeah, hey, hashtag Xbox OS. And, We're gonna make it a thing. And We're gonna do that. the way my time is set up these days, and the way mo I, most of the playing I do is in bed, mm -hmm. uh, night after hours after the family's asleep, mm -hmm. uh, um, the Steam Deck just works for me. So I need a handheld, and I don't want to play on the Abacus. Oh dang! <laughs> Can't play on the Abacus, Lord. <laughs> right now, I right. You, but you that, can't play on the wrong ally because the battery box. the battery will die on you like before you yeah, even start you the game up. You can watch it drain like right in front of you. Like <laughs> keep the screen on for two minutes, it's gonna go down. But um, uh -huh. I don't have a forty ninety uh, Tim the Sorcerer. I have a thirty eighty. Yes. Um, forty ninety club is reserved for certain yes, individuals. Yes. Thirty eighty with sixty four gigs of memory. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh -huh. uh, it. It's really the form factor more than anything else that that has the me pick up and go um, ease of use of it. Yes, and mm -hmm. again, if if Xbox provided that with a UI that made sense, that's where I'd be. That's there. where all my gaming would be. Yep. So this I is not so much of a jump into PCMR because I'd never game at my desk like a like a nerd. See, but that, this uh, is this is where you <laughs> this is where you you guys like lose the thread, right? Like. PCMR is not at your desk. PCMR is like power user PCs wherever you happen yeah, to be. No. This is but as much PCMR be, as it is any, about, anything else. Listen, listen. I am a software engineer I by know. trade. I have I to know. deal with with PCs and computers and. But that doesn't mean you know anything about PC day. gaming, though. <laughs> I no, 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 no. But this is my point. I don't want to think about that when I'm off of work. Uh -huh. I don't. I just I press the button and go. That's mm -hmm. it. Where's the yeah. button to press to start it? Let's go. It better be one button. See, and 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 check, check it out. This is my setup these days, as you can see. Don't don't mind the logos. Don't don't mind the logos. Use use a beautiful thing. Anyway, yeah, there you go. So, let's continue the conversation. JD Gamer. He started chat. saying we need to do better, and then he continues by saying PlayStation is only going to release one first party AAA banger for over thirty months. That is their bread and butter and their sky is not falling what are we thinking exactly yes exactly right uh, playstation does it and it's, it's cool right xbox does it and the sky is falling jd gamer finishes up by saying with another five dollar super chat brother damn he's saying we allow those pathetic port pegging ponies with their fake intellect intellectualism to change the narrative continuously why just hold them accountable Ooh, this man is on fire and then of course gerald mack comes back with a two dollar super chat saying the flesh engine is amazing in dead island now sir had i had i not added the dead island part that would have been a very big pause moment but okay i appreciate you sir and he is right if you haven't played dead island which stealth dropped on on game pass amazing game 
Like it really is. The, the graphic quality is, you would be stunned at how good that game looks. It, it doesn't, it has no business looking as good as it does. It's, it's amazing, absolutely. Thank you guys for, for the super chat. You guys are so great. Continue support. Think about hitting that like button if you haven't done so already. You know, be, be, you're here. Subscribe if you're, if you're new here. We do this every weekend. We try to do this on during the week on Mondays as well in, in more PC-focused talk. But let us move forward. Let me talk about the second game that I have been playing. And that game, I think I, I said, I don't know if I, I said this on this show, is Banishers of New Eden. Have you have you heard of Banishers of New Eden, Mr. Everybody? I actually bought that and I started it I, only for the first like 20, 30 minutes or whatever. I played it very late, and mm -hmm. if you if you've played it, you know it starts very slow. Mm -hmm. So it felt very dry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but that's not the fault of the game. That was just like I started it at two in the morning, and okay. it's not the kind of game that you play in, at two in the morning. Yeah. So I'm actually super interested in that. I, I would Bought actually tell you. Fuck. I would actually tell you it is a game you play at two in the morning. It's, it's a nice spooky game. You could play that at two in the morning. It freak you out a not, little bit. Not, not, not two in the morning when you've been up since six a.m. in the morning. Yeah, well, that's a different thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a different thing. I get. But you. no, I, get uh, I I got this one on Xbox. I'm gonna play it there. Uh, mm -hmm. That's actually what I forgot that in my in my uh, opening. But mm. I need to decide between one of those JRPGs and this. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is probably the shorter one, so I may end up going with this. Do you think this is the shorter one? How long? This game better not be forty hours. I think it's about probably like like somewhat in that direction. I, I'm I'm I'd be surprised if it's not. Oh my god, I can't. It's a, it's, it's not a short game. Like it's a little it's a little bit too dry for me to be playing. That well, no 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 no. How, this how would be hours, a great fifteen hour into? game. How far in? Are no, you? no no no. Like a couple of minutes. I just started. Okay. Let me. Tell I just you went it, to the town where you got called by somebody yeah. to be there, and then yes. you get a little surprise when you. Let get me there, tell you, this opens up a lot more, right? Like, like I'm about two, two, three hours in. It opens up a lot more. It is like, uh, and I think. Oh, okay. So, so, so Lucius is saying, uh, according to a, 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 a Bing, anything. Bing, a Bing, uh, a quick Bing, it's about twenty hours. So there you go. Which it's, is good. It's right 15, in line. 20 it's right hours. In line. Okay, that's right, right up my line. alley. It's right in line, but. I think the game is is worth talking about because it's actually quite good. It really is, right? Uh, uh, it, it's actually quite really, really interesting. Uh, um, the, the, the art style, as you see, is quite quality. You know, these days they're doing a lot more to flesh out characters and make them look real. At the heart of it, you can tell it's, it's a, a story about a, a, a relationship to, to, to relationships who are uh, two individuals who are banishers. Right and banishers in the I think it's the 1700s are are uh, and this is in New England uh, 1700s are uh, people who basically go Ghostbusters if you will uh, or they come to your town and they solve problems and they help ghosts find resolution so they can be sent back to to the beyond as it were and that's what they are and uh, it's not a spoiler to say that these two banishers come in and then shortly right at the beginning of the game one of them dies and you know this because there's even one of them is a ghost I, on the I, cover i feel like you i feel like you're doing a little bit of no spoiler no right no now. that's no, not a that is know. not a spoiler the see, cover i feel like the you cover stuff, the I cover literally more. the cover literally right. has one of them as a All ghost right. the cover of the okay. game has one All of them right. as a ghost if so i'm sorry so, sir. It does. If Look at the cover of the game. So. If you're not paying attention to the cover, that's this, your listen, problem. This is, it's the cover this of the is, game. This is digital. There is no cover. There is. When you start Spoiler the game K. up, when you start the game up, there's a freaking box art, and it has the cover, Spider and it shows three whatever, five bro. sticks in the chat says Spoiler K. And oh, they whatever, blame bro. Me for this. Whatever. Anyway, you know what I mean. It happens like minutes after the game starts. Anyway, but oh, a quick pause. Mm -hmm. JD Gamer, five dollars super chat. This, this brother's here being prolific this morning. He says, PlayStation is a third-party publisher by choice. However, now PlayStation, however, didn't miss their their, their uh, console hardware targets by choice or lose $8 billion in net in worth of a company value by choice. There you go. Absolutely. Mm. So, anyway, anyway, the game itself, uh, Banishers, the game itself, super interesting. I feel like people are following, and this is by Don't Nod, I feel like they're fi finally like uh, 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 they they finally caught my letters and are now doing uh, uh, different things in, in the genre that I've wanted them to. This specifically is kind of like a God of War like, if you will, 
right? It's very much God of War. The, the, the moment to moment is God of War, if you will. The, the, the story is almost, um, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, another, the, the focus game that you were playing recently. I, I keep forgetting its name. Um, Everborn, you, you really enjoyed it with all the rats. Um, with the rats. Yeah, with all the um, rats. A Plague's Tale. A Plague's Tale, yeah. It's like serious, a Plague's Tale it level storytelling. More- a plague's tale than God of War, though. Like, no, I, no, but, combat... but that's, that's that's what I'm saying. Like you, you're, you're minutes in when it starts opening up and gives you the the game to play in your own way. Like when it when it, when it open world opens up, it becomes very God of War like. And as your as you get more uh, as your powers develop, as your your strengths, as you get more and more abilities, it becomes very much the song and dance of God of War, kind of like that. But the storytelling is very much a Plague's Tale, like serious, down to earth. You know, there are some supernatural aspects. Obviously, it's very spooky, but it's 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 quite cool. Like, I think you should stick with it because it's pretty awesome. I, I, I'm I'm enjoying my time so far, and I've played a lot because, as I told you, uh, when I was trying to get into Hell Divers, and it kept just showing me the the stupid uh, uh, servers that are, are at max capacity screen. This is the, my this was my fallback. So I'm, I think I'm about, uh, I, I I could be about eight to ten hours in right now it's 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 pretty good I, i'm really enjoying it what are your thoughts so far you, you you think it's too slow right now yes but again you can't blame that on the game i just sure. played it when i was very tired okay and so it, it and there was a lot there's a lot of talking in the beginning yeah. just to kind of set the tone of the game and mm-hmm. that kind of put me to sleep more but i i need to play it again before i want to tell people it's it's like boring because i don't think that's fair to the game just because I was tired. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. No, I, I agree with you. I, I think you should give it a try. Like these are the type of experiences that I think we should get more of. You can definitely tell that it's not a game where the budget was was like AAA monster budget. That's not what it was meant to be. Plague's Tale budget. That was a good uh, exactly. Character. Yeah, and it's it, it's it's a great story. It's highly enjoyable. I'm really 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 having enjoying my time with it. You know, I think that games like this, if we if we like them, games like this will will exist more in our environment, and that's what we want. Uh, you were just you were talking about uh, what do you call it about Prince of Persia. By 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 and large, it sounds like nobody bought it, which is so terrible. It's like so sad. Nobody that's bought the, Ubisoft's fault, but yeah, for for, mis, for overpricing it. Yeah, I, I agree. But they overpriced it, yeah. and they should have put it in Steam. I don't disagree. That's the that. kind of game that people buy in droves in Steam. Yeah, it's, I think it's the kind of game that's it, handheld fodder. Right. And and again, I know that um this has a that had a higher production budget than most of the 2D platformers you'll see out there. You play that game, you automatically know it. Mm-hmm. I get it. And if you look at the credits alone, a lot of people worked on that game. Yeah. What I am saying is I believe that if they sold it for 39 or even 20, 29 mm-hmm. they would have made it up in volume yep. um, and just made it easy for people to get. Yep. I think locking it to the UB store, I think uh, charging 50 bucks for it um is what uh killed that game wow you are terrible at this what are you doing man i i, I told you uh, so so this actually this game coincided with me testing this new scuff controller let me let me show it real quick okay. this new don't, scuff don't controller okay so K. i was like pressing all the buttons mr. to see K. if Asante. i if, if if i had mr. like different mr. Asante. what's that mr k Asante. let's stop this no no we've i'm seen serious enough of your oh, gameplay stop. we've stop seen bull- enough of your bad gameplay to look, know look, look. No, no, let me, let me be clear. Yeah, listen, is, listen, listen. So, this is a so feature, understand, not a bug. understand, understand. See it this side here? That is the LB button and RB button, both on top and on the side, which I think is a fault because when you're playing, Chat. when you're playing and you hit this button, you accidentally hit these buttons at the same time. That was okay. the issue I was Chat. having. But anyway, Chat. yeah, go ahead, go Chat. ahead, go ahead. You yes. have seen yes. KS on You see my, my terrible gameplay. Continue. In, yes, absolutely. Week out. Yes, Is yes. this any different it's, from the, when the, he was playing with a normal sure. controller okay. and yes. playing Dead Eye Survivor? Look, look, I'm not denying my gameplay is, is not terrible. I'm just telling you exactly what happened there. I was also testing mm-hmm. out the scuff mm-hmm. controller. Anyway, mm-hmm. but let's move forward. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Anyway, so the third game I have been playing, and then we'll, we'll get into the news. 
and I, like uh, this game, I will preface by saying uh, shout out to the folks at Keymailer who gave me a code for this game. So take that with with, with, with what you will. I, you know, I this actually wasn't one where I got a code. This was me requesting it, and then they provided it to me, right? But before I, I, I go there, oh, and of course, being absolutely pro prolific, JD Gamer two dollar super chat pointing some facts here. <laughs> Should Xbox jump in and buy Don't Nod? I mean, if will Don't Nod had to be purchased, <laughs> will it make a difference? <laughs> you know, mm. I think they are a great studio. They are absolutely a great studio. So, you know, and 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 uh, before this, I, I completely loved uh, uh, Jusant, which which is also by Don't Nod. So, you know, anyone who happens to purchase them would be getting some some something very special, very diverse studio that can make so super different things. Uh so, um, mm -hmm. I I do to that end. I think uh, this game would have done very well in Game Pass, mm -hmm. and I think it would have uh, like a Plague's Tale before it, and like what we just saw with Lies of P. Mm -hmm. I think um, the amount of players and organic marketing you just get from X amount of people having access to a game and sharing clips will yeah. do well to sell it on other platforms. Um, so I do think that, um, at the very least, uh, this, this game would have been a, a, a very good fit for Game Pass, yep. right? It's a, it's a, it's an unknown IP from a very, you know, unique developer. Uh, and we've seen a lot of success in things like that, um, before. So, uh, if it's a good fit for Game Pass, then, um... And Jusant, they just did a deal with um, Game did, Pass for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but if it's yeah. if it's a if they're a good developer, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Downishers in Game Pass eventually. Sure, but it should have been there in day one, um, yeah. because by they, that they, time they the want, hype is going to be gone. No, no, I I think they're 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 correctly thinking. I think they're correctly thinking that let's let the game go out there. Let's let it get its hype. Let's get its notoriety. Let's let it stand on its own two feet. Once the hype has died down, then we'll take the game pass bag and that here, will give here, it the second, the second. Wave. Here's, here, here's the problem with that. Um, Cause then more people play it and go, I, I Hey, this is great. I, I and go buy it on steam. Like you did. I, I you don't, know? I don't know that the hype is actually there. I didn't even know this game was out. Someone okay. had to remind me. Yeah, yeah, this, right? this dropped on and, us. And, yeah, and again, yeah. and again, as soon as I found out it was out, I bought it immediately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but the the marketing that you get from being in Game Pass, this would have been a big title, yeah. right? A lot of people would have been talking about it. And everyone would have known when it came out. And my concern is that when it goes to Game Pass later, it'll just be a tweet, and you know the the the. Yeah, they'll get a bump and they'll get the Game Pass back, but I don't know if they'll get the interest from the other platforms like, you know, like um, like you would in a Lies of P or or a, or a Plague's Tale. Again, we'll see what it does. I just don't hear anyone talking about it, and everyone True. who does talk about it, it's because they're either being reminded or reminded someone of it. True. But it okay. does look okay. like a super uh, high it's quality awesome. game, and I it's hope it awesome. gets all the praise. Uh, as uh, as Jesse from Xbox Era said, it's tickling the nether realm of a AAA game. You know, it's it's, it's shooting a shot, and it's quite good. It's doing well. well tickling it's the doing, nether that, that's, that's what he said. What, yes. kind of, <laughs> what kind of game is this? <laughs> no, it's, okay. it's quite it's quite good. See, and 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 I think before and we'll move on to the next game. I think what what gives the people uh, maybe a false first impression of this game is like you said it, it, it leads with its worst foot it's a little slow at start right and secondly as the game matures you get more capabilities and then it makes the combat more dynamic but in the beginning the, t the combat is also a little bit one note right so if you don't if you don't invest and play into that further game you you, you assume that that's all you have and it's actually quite good when it's when it's a little further down the line. So I, I really think, I really hope more people give this thing a chance. And I, I hope that when it does hit Game Pass, eventually it gets another bump and people get a, a pay, pay closer attention to it. Cause it's really, really good. We'll, we'll get, we should yes, be getting more to, of these to, kind of games. To, to answer JD Gamer's question, mm -hmm. um, I think if you are the kind of studio that makes good Game Pass content, mm -hmm. then you are uh, yes. something that Xbox yes. should keep their eye on. Absolutely. For yeah. potential acquisition. Yeah. So let and me ask Don't you, Nod was on the list. 
Yes, they were. During they the were on the list. Season. Yes. So. so, all right. Let me ask you this question, Everborn. When we were talking, when when the, the, the phenomenon that is Vampire Survivor had taken us all over, we were all like basically like stuck on that crack. Where were, where were you? I know you avoided it for as long as you possibly could. Were you successful in avoiding it like the COVID or did you eventually catch that bug? Uh, I definitely did not. You didn't catch um, the bug. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Did not catch the so, bug. So then this might not be up your alley, but for those who did catch the bug, this, this might be specifically for you. But on, the, on a different note, did you happen to play a game called Geometry Wars back in the day? The 360. I did games. on on the 360. Yes, it was one okay. of the launch titles. So what if I tell you someone, some genius is somewhere put the peanut butter that is Geometry Wars together with with the 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 the, the, the jelly that is Vampire Survivor and gave you what is affectionately known as Geometry Survivor? What would you say to that? Uh you're gonna show me some video footage and we are gonna see. It is odd that this exists. It's blatant in its execution, but it is glorious. It's so good. And, and, and what you're looking at right now is footage from the PC. I also got a code for Xbox. I've been playing it in both places. So shout out to Keymailer for, for, for allowing me to, to play and, and showcase this game. But man, oh man, this is, it's like, and if you know, the, if you know uh, uh, Geometry Wars, you know the art style. This is literally the art style of Geometry Wars. Uh, for the for the graybeards among us, the 360 players among us, there was a time where Geometry Wars got all the energy in the room, like all of it, right? We played this thing to no end. And Geometry Wars 2 was one of my favorites as well, right? And then of course this thing died down. But here it is with literally the Vampire Survivors uh, mechanics. Right, so you're playing through your 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 uh, um, increasing your loadout till you get to your credit build up till you get to a certain point, and then you get the chance to add more to your to your uh, to your arsenal. Add this this add shields or add different kind of weapon types, and just keep going. And the, the basically the 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 instructions are survive for 20 minutes. Uh, I've been able to survive at max for like I think 11 minutes. It is very difficult like very very difficult but it's very much vampire survivors uh, uh you know every time you get you get through the cycle you have um, you add more stuff to it they've added very interesting uh, uh um interesting capabilities for you you know uh like you see on the screen right now um i'm going through i pick uh, a droid robot does it auto fire me. it auto fires it is vampire survivor it auto fires yes it is absolutely auto fire completely and of course while you're going run to run which would make it like a metro uh, uh, which make it like a, ro a roguelike if you will right you're going run to run there are credits that you build up that you then permanently can increase cer certain stats and loadouts so like you you want to make sure that from uh, every time you start you start faster with a faster ship or you want to start with more more health because you get i think four pieces of health when you start you know, you can permanently increase them. Obviously, the points cost a lot, so you're gonna have to play a lot to get points in order to to permanently increase things. But it is very much Vampire Survivors, but in a nice warm blanket that is Geometry Wars. You know, I really enjoy this. Like, it's one of those things that you didn't know you needed this in your life until it's here, and and I've been like just losing my mind playing this game. Uh, for, for my handheld gamers out there, it sips TDP. You could play this thing at like five TDP. You're playing this on the ROG Ally for like 10 hours because it's really, really, really like light on the use and it's really good, but it's very, very hard. I'll say it again, very, very hard, but it's super fun. I, I, I'm enjoying myself. Everborn Saga, I know you did not catch that first bug. Is this something you would try? I mean, you're a Geometry Wars player. Um, I did not try this, but seeing this looks very interesting. However, it's fun, man. It's so much fun. However, however, it feels like one of those no life games. I mean, it's not and a I no get life weary game. Of those. It's not a no life game. You know why I say that? Because it looks like it'd be perfect for the Steam Deck, though. I will. I will it say is. That. It and especially Steam Deck OLED. I, I I am not one who owns a Steam Deck OLED currently. But mm. I will tell you, you are on one who bought one though. At some you are point. one who bought a Steam Deck only. At some point, uh, I will tell and you. This as, is why you don't have needs. If you play, 
<laughs> no needs. Yeah. If you play this game on the Steam Deck OLED, like the, the, the art style of Geometry Wars makes this thing shine. Like it's so good. The the black levels, this this is this is how you play it. It's it's very, very good. And of course, since it's so light, you can run this thing at 120 frames if you have the the, the screen capability to do so. So on the ally, it runs really fast. On anything I've tried it on so far, it runs like really, really expertly. It's just damn hard. It's not a no life game because eventually when you when you figure it out and you, you get your dexterity on and, and you're, you're figuring the game out, you can start getting better and better. Like I've focused like I'm going to do this and now I've gotten to 11 minutes where I used to be like averaging six minutes max and I'm dead. Like there's just no nothing. But now you start getting the strategies, you start understanding what, what like what each of them do and all that. And you're building your loadout quickly because you know that eventually once these guys leave the, another another kind of enemy type shows up and you need to have different capabilities to be able to deal with them it is expertly done it's it's so good it's so good you know my only my only th sadness for this is it showed up when vampire survivor already exists because if if this hadn't showed up before vampire survivors this is how people should know what this game's type is like this is this to me is your your uh, uh um um what do you call it your battle royale genre right and PUBG just showed up and took over right uh, uh and fortnite just kind of came and took the crown this should be how people play it but it may just become one of them instead of the the way and, and that, that's unfortunate for me but i'm enjoying it i think it's really really awesome i think it's also very cheap it's on xbox people should try it I think people should try Everborn Saga, I, I recommend you try this. Specifically, as a lover of Steam Deck OLED as you are, I really think you will love this game. I think you should try it. But okay. Let us move forward. Before we do, I, I, I let me acknowledge some more great, great folks in the chat. Yes, of course, the Brother Infinite Umbra is on here. Good morning, sir. I appreciate you. Good morning. Uh, nice to see you in here. The man always, always doing prolific work out there in the community himself. Uh, all right. So you know what? I think it's time we start talking about some news. We're not going to make it too long this week. We're going to be, it's, it's just you and I, we're going to, we're going to, uh, uh, talk about all the, the somber potentials that are, that are, that are being discussed out in the community. But before we do, I thought we take a little bit of a break and first and foremost, have a very interesting discussion. Cause I know it's been galvanizing people out there and that of course is Halo Season 2, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Everborn, I know you won't shut up about it. You say it's such a, a an elevation compared to what it was before. What do you so think so be. far, sir? What do you think? Hit uh, me with it. And I, and I don't think I, we should do spoiler talk. Let's just say. Let's talk lightly. And maybe at some point when the whole when all of it is out and out there, we can do a spoiler talk deep and talk fully uh, about the whole season. I, I, but, I need you to do yeah. me a favor and just scroll down just a little bit. Uh-huh. Okay. No, 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 keep going. A little bit, a okay. little bit more. Okay. No, no, you passed it. You passed oh, okay. it. Okay, like that. Come back. Come back. No, no, a little bit more. You're yeah, halfway there. What do you yes, want? Right bro? there. <laughs> so, uh, K. Asante, uh, you, sir, mm -hmm. have had a stellar performance mm -hmm. in this show so far. Mm -hmm. uh, you gave a riveting speech. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you can tell me what happens next in the show. Uh, and you need to stop lying to your audience, telling people you're not in the show. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Mm, I, that's why you have to take your face off right now. That's why you <laughs> took the camera off. I have no idea it what weird. it is you are talking about. All I will say is this was a good show. It was a great performance. And I, I just uh, hope, I hope in this world, and, and no spoilers, I hope, and, and those who know Halo will know what I'm talking about here. I hope that in this world, Keys and Avery Johnson are the same person. I hope that because that would help me. I, I would be happy with that knowledge that Keys and Avery Johnson are the same person. And if you know what, why I say that, you know why I'm saying that. But let's talk about this at the high level, sir. What have you thought about season two so far? Uh, no, I, th I think it's fantastic. I think they are four for four so far. Um, I think that... Um they um i think they've done a great job at the character work i hate ackerson but in the best way 
Oh yeah, they picked the best like, smarmy yeah. character, right? They picked the best smarmy actor to play like, that character. It, it's great. like the same way you you love to hate one of those Game of Thrones villains, yes, right? Yes, yes. Um, and I think he's, and I think we can really see um, Pablo Shriver, who is a uh, plays Master Chief. Mm -hmm. uh, I really think they didn't give him uh, much to do in the last season in terms of character work, but they yeah. they they have here uh, at least better than they did in the last season and my barometer here right the uh mrs everborn mm -hmm. does not there's two things that she does not care about and that is video games and sci-fi television wow and, and she marries you yeah right <laughs> because be, she is into fantasy okay. uh so it works but uh she just doesn't care like i can't even get her to watch something in space oh wow. <laughs> right yeah. um but um, she is hooked on this show. Wow. Right? Okay. And she has no knowledge of what Halo is. Yeah. She has no knowledge she of She knows any it's the video more, game, though. Right? She doesn't think that Spartans are Mandalorians, like, okay. a, like a good friend of ours. Okay. <laughs> um, and I have to almost stop her. Like, I was at work uh, on Thursday. I had to go to the office. And I had to stop her from watching the show before I got home. Dang, it's turned into one He's of those like, situations. What time are you getting here? The show's the show's out. So, um, cool. This is this is the thing. So it you is. Got the seal of um, approval from normal people. There you go. <laughs> right, and and that's what I mean. And and job one when you are adapting something mm -hmm. is not to do a page for page, word for word, dialogue for dialogue, scene for scene adaptation. You want to mm -hmm. take the essence of these things. And I and but job one is to tell a good story within that world. And I think they're doing that now more so where they didn't. Uh, yes, there are still complaints. I don't know why the human chick is still in the show. We thought she was dead <laughs> at the end of the last episode, at, yeah. the, at the end of the last season. So they could have just kept her dead. Uh, there's very little Quan, which is a good thing. Well, when uh, she shows up, she's the Terminator. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, Listen, I don't hate it. Her I don't hate it either. Been, you know, let her, her do what she got to do. have not been as cringe as they were last season. That's right. And yeah. the only issue I still have left with the show is Bokeem Woodbine's hand. Mm. <laughs> it just looks too stupid. They need to have him, like, let, let like, a, 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 a plasma sword cut his arm off or something. Yep, yep. So we don't have to look at that. <laughs> it looks like a Muppet the hand. Claw, the claw. Stop um, it. Stop it. So, mm -hmm. um... No, but but on a more serious note, mm -hmm. I love what they're doing with the character work. Uh, I think Chief taking off his helmet. One, I don't have an issue with. Uh, yeah, him let, let's off let's his talk helmet. about that for a moment. It's not even about the helmet now, right? I've heard in certain circles where the complaint is now: Oh, first we complained he took off his helmet. Now he's in the middle of a war zone. He doesn't even have the armor on. <laughs> but but it but again, it um, makes sense though, right? I think it makes sense within yes. the story they were telling. Absolutely. He doesn't uh, walk around like Gen Pop with his armor on. He walks around like a like, normal person. Okay, I, I want to ask anybody this question. If you think Chief never takes his uh, Milnir armor off, mm -hmm. and this, this I'm going to use my one, where does Chief shit? I mean, the Milnir armor has this, has this capability of sucking the stuff out and, and reusing it <laughs> as fuel. I'm sorry, I couldn't even pull that one off. That's just terrible. So, so, and furthermore, how how do they eat? Exactly, exactly. Right? They could be they could be fed intravenously. Who knows? <laughs> in the in the suit. So the, the so, poop is turning into no no stop 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 just stop continue. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, uh -huh. this is. This is the thing. Like they take their <laughs> stuff off and they're telling you a story. Yep. And when he's not in a combat situation, the armor shouldn't be on. I'm sorry. Yes, exactly. It is not like you're you're being way too hardline and you the real thing is you saw the Mandalorian and you just thought the Spartans should See? be the same thing. Sin, Sin Tell Vendetta the knows what I'm Dune. talking about. Sin, is, Sin says sort of kind of like the suits in Dune. Exactly. Where it, it, it refeeds you intravenously. <laughs> Anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> this is terrible. Yes, uh, a, a, a certain <laughs> community member 
who uh-huh. loves Dune. That is yes, probably sir. why he thinks the Spartans yes, should take off their armor. I hope he's listening. <laughs> but but I will say uh, I, I will say I stand with those who who are like this wasn't a, this time. It wasn't a problem at all. I I get it, a hundred percent. And even when they said they don't have their armor because of reasons, and the reason they gave makes perfect, absolutely perfect sense. Right? And and that that turned up the drama. Yes, right? yes. It, it, and then you see what sense. what Ackerson's plan is, right? All of a sudden, as soon as you you, you heard that, you're like, oh, he's just gonna, you know, because he you've heard his criticism of Master Chief before. You're just a guy in a suit. Right. So now, then when you hear what you hear, what he's done, you're just like, oh, I see what he's going to do now. You know, and it's it's, it's very good. They, they, they ratcheted up the drama. They left you. They left you hanging. You know, I just, you know, so, I, and, just, and I just again, hope, and, I just hope I just hope Keys is Avery. That's all I'm going to yes. say. Because if he's the not, book, I'll just no, no. The, come on. The, the in the books, Spartans take off their. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Their armor all the time. So 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 anyway, there is that. Um, now, <laughs> BT Maverick seven oh seven with a two dollars super chat. He says the human centipede suit, <laughs> the Uraburos suit. You know the the snake eating its own tail. I'm I get sorry. it. I get it's it. Good. I get it. Um, so again, we're talking again. I don't uh, uh, Inferno. I don't know if you've seen the episode. I think there's a good reason for them. Not yeah. to have armor in this yeah, yeah, situation, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna spoil it. No, 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 be um, no spoilers. No, you need to see it. Uh, you need to see it fr- fresh and unspoiled. And, I, and again, it's quite so good. each episode, I think the the opening of the show was fantastic. I think the tension between Ackerson and Chief is mm-hmm. fantastic. Yeah. I think they're um, they're doing better work. Not still not amazing work with Halsey. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I think Halsey's he's, gotten he's, gotten a lot better since last season. She's gotten better, but she's still not like she's not as still not as complex as um, as I think she could be. Mm-hmm. Um, action, you, like you know, like you know what criticism says, I great. have? You know the criticism I have of it though, like um, you see there there are there are Easter eggs in the show and all this and, and for those who, who who know you'll 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 see them when you see them really cool Easter eggs that people are pointing out. The thing that I wish they do is use Cortana more. They are not using Cortana enough, in my opinion. Maybe because she's expensive to render or whatever, but you know. Yeah. I don't think it's that. There was a lot of CG in this episode. I just think it's to this to the point of what they're doing with the story, which you won't allow us to spoil. I think we should do like a spoiler talk at the end of each episode. We'll start that next week, maybe. Not not not. not Jacks eighty two anyway. with a two dollar super chat saying, "K, are they bringing you back for season three of Halo?" That is an excellent question. <laughs> if if I was him, I would give you. I would not give you that answer. But I'm not him, sir. I'm not him. But thank you for And the, yet you still can't check. give us that answer. Hmm. Because because I'm not him. Uh, anyway. But you just said if you were him, you wouldn't give the answer. And you're exactly, not giving the answer. Because I'd be that, spoiling it. You know? Two plus okay. two equals four. <laughs> equals fifteen. JD Gamer with a two dollar super chat says, by the way, Greybeards, how does it feel to get to be married? Yeah, how about that? Look. How does it feel, uh, sir? This wedding was a formality. Mm-hmm. We we We've been living. I stopped counting how many years we've been living together and raising kids together. Um, but it was nice to I, like we didn't do it before, and I just wanted to do it uh, the right way, mm-hmm. and that's why it took so long. Uh, so I've always, for a very long time, considered myself a, a married man, and now it's official. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's great. I think it's great. So okay, okay. L- enough with the Halo talk. Enough with the show talk. I, I too think it's great. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to the rest of the season. But let us move on and let's talk about basically. There's, so there's not, there are multiple different stories. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enigmatic Dream says, when is my game coming and do I have a Kickstarter oh, yeah. or is there a way to support it? Mm-hmm. So I am planning a Kickstarter for it, but I want to wait until I have the prototype level available for people so that Mm -hmm. you know what you're supporting and you can kind of play it and uh this is this is the same thing we do with the comics like uh we have a book that's getting ready to come out but i wait until i can i have something so like once we are done um 
with the colors on the book and we all we have left is lettering, that's when I do the Kickstarter because I don't want people to have any fear of whether this thing is going to come out. Yep. So once we have those things together, then we do it. The next Kickstarter you will see from me is Ariel's Adventure Chapter 2, though. And um, um, the the game, uh, when as soon as the uh, prototype is ready and I can give people a level to play, that is when we'll do the Kickstarter. So I'm hoping, I am hoping by the end of the year, we get we get um, two demos ready. One is um, uh, the Redlands and the other is uh, Ariel's Adventure. But work is going on on that. And when it happens, we will feature it here, sir, on the show. Make sure people see it. Make sure people support you. Maybe we'll, we'll look into how to get you on Keymailer. That'd be cool, right? Get you on maybe yeah, other yeah. other content creators. That, like, but thank you, people. thank you, Enigmatic Dreams for asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, Excellent. You know, yeah. Gotta Absolutely. get the word out. And, and by the way, join the Discord. When the man is doing more work on the games, he's in the Discord showing you some of the ins and outs. So yeah, kind of usually cool. almost almost always when I do work on the game, I do it live in the yeah. Discord. So you get to see um what what's being worked on and you get to if you have questions. And I try to explain everything I'm doing so that uh, if you ever wanted to make your own game, you, you you know, you you can ask me a question and I can answer as far as I know, because I'm just figuring this stuff out as I go. So we're going to get to the stories, but let me let me flip it on you a little bit this time, everyone, and let you know that uh, it seems I'm building a narrative here. Right. And we have a couple of stories, but they all feed into each other. So we're going to get started and I'm going to start uh, uh, doling them out and adding them in. But you'll see where we're going. And it's, it is what it is. And, and the first story, as as you would imagine, is Sony losing $10 billion in market value due to PlayStation 5 sales forecast cut. Now, we've heard, obviously, you know, we're, we are not in a bubble here, right? We, we've heard what has happened on the Xbox side and, and their new business, uh, the business update that they provided. And we'll talk more about that to come as well right and you hear you heard about what the the, the cfo of of, of uh, sony um has been talking about and we'll also dig into that but this stuff here to me was super surprising especially considering that you know the the narrative by all accounts is that playstation is walking away with the console market even in the ps5 uh, time frame so to hear that it was obviously, you know, people miscalculate, you know, misestimate all the time. But by this much to the point where they lost so much value in the company, it was surprising to me, sir. What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, like market caps go down every day, B, right? Like, but it's by not... $10 billion, though? That's well, a lot that's of cha-ching, not, man. Okay, but I guarantee you that Microsoft could lose $10 billion in market cap value, which they did because yeah, they went below. But they are, Wait a minute. That would be Wait like a minute. nothing, right? But they lost oh. a lot more than that, right? Thanks for being on it. 